Hi, Sarah Levin, the Artful Inker here. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States, and today I thought I would share my pre-order products that I've received for the 2021 Stampin' Up! annual catalog. So the first thing that I have is this hand-pinned uh, stamp set. It's photopolymer, and it uh, also has coordinating dies, the pinned flower dies. Let's just open those up. And you've got great pieces to cut out uh, your stamped flowers and then this really nice border piece that's both scalloped and stitched. Now you can purchase these separately or they are a bundle. And then to coordinate with that is the hand pin designer series paper and let's just flip through the uh, designs for that. I think the colors are awesome and then we've got this watercolory stripe and flowers again but again great colors and then this watercolory polka dot different flowers and then this in the Highland Heather with the leaves and the little distressed watercolory background. I love that both the A and B sides here are gorgeous. And then we've got flowers uh, like in the stamp set and a little, um, again, that distressed watercolory background. And our final piece here, let's flip it over. And this one in, I'm going to say this is, might be evening evergreen in the watercolor. So let's set these aside and I'll grab the next things. Next, I've got the Pansy Patch stamp set. This is also photopolymer and this is a um, two-step stamp and it comes, of course, you've got the flowers and then some sentiments here. And then there are the pansy dies that coordinate. So you've got dies to cut out all of your flowers and then some leaves and stems. And then you've got these pieces that will cut out and emboss your cardstock at the same time. So they'll have some texture to them. Of course, you can purchase these separately or as a bundle. When you bundle, of course, you save 10%. And then to go with those... We have the Pansy Petals designer paper. And let's just take a look at each of the sides on this designer paper. So we've got some great patterns going on here on both the A and B sides. I love this small print gingham. And then some pretty dots. And a Good stripe. I can see this going into the holidays. And another of the small print gingham. Now I will be doing a designer paper share. You can find the details for that on my blog. Let me grab the next things. Next, I've got this color and contour photopolymer stamp set. It's also a two-step stamp, which means we've got these great outline pieces that we can choose to color with our watercolor pencils, stamp and write markers, or stamp and blends, or th even the new pastels. And then we can use these stamps to fill in our flowers. Uh, and I always love a stamp set that's got a little splatter because then I don't have to um, do that step on my own. And it's got coordinating dies, the scalloped contour dies. I think you're going to love these. So we've got this large scallop with a little, um, I'm going to call that a bead rather than stitching detail that will emboss, I think, on your cardstock. It doesn't feel like it might cut on your cardstock. Not sure. Haven't played with it yet. Um, and then, of course, we can cut out these two flowers and then some great layering pieces, uh, you know, with this pierced scallop here and then some uh, the dotted like here and some stitching 
and then these are just solid lines here for embossing and then this one that's pierced at the bottom so um, that's a great set of dies and again you can purchase these separately or together to get the bundle discount next I've got the flowers of friendship stamp set it is just an outline stamp set in cling so red rubber um, and it's perfect for coloring or using over a pretty background and some nice sentiments here and there's the coordinating flowers and leaves punch so you've got punches here for these two flowers and both of the leaves you can purchase these separately or together with the bundle discount I'm excited to play with days to remember it's a calendar stamp set and you've got all the possible day uh, length of month variation so we go out to a 28th here so that you know if we're doing a leap year and our 30 and 31 and you can start on any day so I'm excited to play with this and feel out the details for that and then I've got another pack of designer paper this is the beauty of the earth and this piece just screams fall to me, which is lovely. And a pretty wood background piece. I love that this piece is designed so that you can cut it straight across the middle and even, you know, into card front sizes. And you've got plenty of this pretty pattern for both sides. Or it's great for scrapbooking. And look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? I could see a camping scene on this or something for your holidays. Oh, love the color combination here. And this pretty blue makes me look like, think of the sky that we've had outside here the last couple of days. And this pretty piece, and look at that. That screams holiday to me with your snowy uh, scene in the woods. And fall here, pretty, pretty fall. And this will make great background pieces for cards. And look at these. I can see just cutting these off in little strips and using them. And always love a watercolory uh, background piece that I can cut up. When it comes to end colors, I'm an I've got to have it all girl. And I've already cut these to begin working on my cardstock sampler rings. I couldn't wait to get mine started so that I could see how these colors play with um, the core family colors. And um, I've got some comparison uh, graphics for you over on my blog. So we have Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent, Pale Papaya, Polished Pink, and Fresh Freesia, gorgeous range of colors here, and they play very nicely with the Core Stampin' Up colors. And we have lots of things that come in the in colors. Um, in fact, in colors are one of my favorite things because I get five new colors to play with without my core colors retiring and they're usually very in colors uh you know like you can find them in your uh clothing and your uh home goods and all kinds of things in that two-year period while we have them so let's look at the in color designer paper stack that's the polished pink and soft succulent. We'll show you both sides of each of these. The fresh freesia, pale papaya, and evening evergreen. Now these are included in my designer paper share and you can find information about that over on my blog. Also in the end colors are these pretty ombre um, in color 
treat bags. Of course, you can create things other than treat bags with them, but we've got evening evergreen, soft succulent, pale papaya, fresh freesia, and polished pink. And they come in a pack of 20 of the ombre bags. So plenty to do uh, most parties. Let's don't forget our ink pads. As I said, when I'm talking in colors, I'm a you gotta have it all gal. So I've got all of my in color ink pads. I always purchase the ink refills. Not only are they good for uh, re-inking your stamp sets, uh, your ink pads, but there are all kinds of techniques that you can do with these. Um, also, in the end colors, gotta have my Stampin' Blends. I do love to color, and I'm thrilled that all five of the end colors are available in the Stampin' Blends. And then let's talk embellishments. We've got five rolls of in color ribbon. This is a pretty sheer ribbon. Um, looks like it's got a little satin trim on the sides, but nice and soft, so easy for tying bows. Whoops, if I can get my fingers out of the way, it's easy for tying bows. But this is going to look gorgeous on things, and it comes in all five of the colors. And I think this soft succulent can play with some of the other colors in our lineup. The same thing with the fresh freesia and the pale papaya, and maybe even the polished pink. And then we've got some, let's open these up, in color embellishments. And they're rhinestones. Love, love, love these bright rhinestones. So let me quick lift all of these out of the way and we'll look at the next bit. So in colors, yay! Okay, and then um, how about the Prince and Princess uh, stamp set? It's photopolymer. Now this is a host stamp set. So when you place a $150 order in my store, you can use choose to use your Stampin' Rewards um, to get this stamp set. And then the Party Puffins. I couldn't resist these guys. Love cute animals. This little guy looks like he's dabbing down here. Next, I've got the Simply Elegant uh, specialty designer paper. Now these are all foiled on one side. So we've got this pretty lacy piece and then on the back this gorgeous gray design. And look at this with all that copper and gold foiling. And then I love having some black and white pieces in my lineup. And then we've got this one with the copper and gold and silver. And this pretty black and white piece. I love the shape here. And, and the gold and gray is gorgeous. And then just a pretty gray design on the back. And this on the vanilla with the gold, and this may look like navy. I'm not sure whether this is navy or black here. And then we've got that lacy design that we saw on the first piece in the foiling in gray on very vanilla. And then this piece that's the silver and gold. I love the mixed metallics. And then look at that gorgeous piece. These two are in my designer paper share. And then I've got the elegant tag punch. This will be fun to play with. Look for a upcoming blog post where I'll show you some variations with this punch. I love my punches to do more than one thing. 
And then how about some of the Simply Elegant trim in gold and silver? I always love to have something a little gold or silver to put on my cards, and this will be great all year. And then, of course, at the holidays, it's going to be fabulous. Okay, let's put those out of the way. Next, I've got the hand-pinned Memories and More cards. I love these for uh, both quick and easy um, card making and quick and easy uh, scrapbook pages. So I think sometimes you may overlook these in the catalog, and I'm saying don't because they're great for both of those and perhaps more. So these would make a great tag and look beautiful on the back. You get two of each design. We're just going to flip through a few of these and, oh, nope. Thought I was just going to quick be able to turn them all over, but they're in the end colors. These do coordinate with the hand pinned stamp set and designer paper. Could even do some notes on some of these. This would be great in a, a lunch bag on a day that things are going to be tough and then add a little tag on the back with a, a note. Lots of pretty here. I won't go through all of those, but you get the idea. And then we have this larger size. And don't forget to show the backs. And then, of course, with the Memories and More card packs, you always get some die-cut stickers so that you can um, complete your projects without stamping if you desire. Aren't these pretty? Pretty, pretty, pretty. I can't wait to dive into these. So going to flip a couple more just because I want to see what all of these look like. Ooh, great as they are or take some time and color them. Gorgeous. And then we have the hand-pinned note cards and envelopes, and these will make making your cards even faster. Let's see if I can pull a couple of these out. It's a pack of 20 card bases and then a coordinating envelope. I love that they've uh, printed the back flap. So this is a gorgeous piece already, and then add one of these cards and, and write your note, and you're set to go. Let me set these aside. I'm so excited about these. Love, love, love the colors. And then this is the linen specialty paper, and I don't know that I'm going to be able to show this to you in a way that you can see the texture. It's got a literally a very fine weave. You can feel the texture in it. It's adhesive backed. So right here. So the whole back of this piece has adhesive on it. You can die cut it. You can watercolor on it. You can color color on it. Stamping, my guess is you're going to get a little bit of a distressed look because of the weave. Um, can't wait to play with this and see what I can make it do. Next, I've got the Pattern Party Designer Paper. Now, this is in the Host uh, Rewards uh, part of the catalog, so towards the back. There are 48 pieces in this designer paper pack, 12 by 12, and four of each design. So let's flip through these so that you can see what's here. I think they're a tremendous value to use for your host rewards dollars. So we've got a great black and white pattern, always a plus because you can color the white if you choose to. And then the pretty dot. We've got the roses here and a buffalo check here. 
in the black and white. And then this looks like maybe Misty Moonlight. And this great black and white piece, Granny Apple Green, and a black and white dot. I'm thinking this might be Flirty Flamingo or Calypso Coral. Probably can go both. And then the dotted line in the black and white. Love this little animal print here. And then a black and white print on the back. The rainbow scallops here. And a pretty black and white pattern. And we've got our rainbow hearts here. And a black and white stripe. And a rainbow of stripes. This is a great... I love the colors in this pack. And then black with a small white dot. And we've got our rainbow diagonal. And then pretty black and white flowers. And a pretty black and white pattern. And then our final piece with the flowers. And then kind of um, an organic dot here. So great pattern pack of paper will coordinate with lots of things and of course mixing and matching. Then I've got some silver and clear epoxy essentials embellishments. So these are dots and then uh, some diamonds here and some little uh, like water droplet shapes. And then same thing in the clear. I don't know if you can see that on my hand. So two sheets of the embellishments. And then when I was um, pulling all of the hand pin things out, we've got these genial gems that coordinate with the colors in the hand pin suite. Of course, embellishments can always coordinate with other things. And these are great because they've got a little sheer color and then some gold flecks in them. And I've got the basic borders dies. These do not coordinate with something else. They're just on their own. And I love the shapes that we've got here. I'm betting that I can do something for an envelope flap with a couple of these. And then this looks like clouds. The chevron is just great. And then this fun... Uh, Looks like it might mimic one of the punches in the catalog. So, love a coordination. And they're all uh, stitched. And then the tailor-made dies. These will make your tag making super easy. All of the dies are stitched. And then we've got these pieces so that you can reinforce your holes. Can't wait to play with those. And I've got some gorgeous ribbon. I love, it's been a while since we've had a really wide ribbon in this smoky, smoky slate. And it's got a moray taffeta-like um, design in it, like a little watermark woven in. So you get a little tone-on-tone -tone design. This, uh can't wait to do some packaging with this. It's just gorgeous. And then I've got another pack. These are the What a Year Memories and More pack. Let's pull these open and see what we've got here. Oops. This pack doesn't want to come out of the sleeve. So we'll just tear. Don't forget my designer paper share. You can find the link for that uh, below in the description. And let's go ahead and open up this one. And then there will be the in color um, comparison charts on my blog so that you can see how those colors stack up with uh, some of your Stampin' Up! colors. 
Okay, so let's start with our sheets of stickers here. These are fun. Fun, fun, fun. And then the days of the week feel like and weeks of the year and some extra pieces. So great if you're doing uh, some journaling. Um, you could do a whole uh, album that's just something for each week. Ooh, I love that with the little bee on the back. We're just going to flip through a few of these so that you can see what these look like. Pretty, pretty. And a giant bee. And of course, you can turn these into note cards as well or scrapbooking. Um, as I said, you can journal your year or do a, a scrapbook that's a picture of the week kind of thing or what happened this week. Okay, so you get the idea on the large cards. Now let's take a look at the small ones here. And these are great for pocket scrapbooking or cutting your, uh, using a, a 12 by 12 or even um, cutting down and using pieces that fit our small album. Pretty. So lots of fun designs that can go adult or child, teenager, young adult. Great set of cards. Okay, and then I think I've got one more pack of embellishments here. Baker's Twine comes in a five pack. So let's move these out of the way. So you get a spool of each of the colors in that five pack. So you've got plenty of Baker's Twine to do your card making or scrapbooking. And I think that's all of my pre-order goodies that I have. Thanks for stopping in with me today. Um, if you need a, a new catalog for the 2021 uh, Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog, use the link in the description below. Also, if you'd like to participate in my paper share, use the link in the description below for that. Have a great day. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell if you'd like to be notified the next time I upload a video because, of course, I'll start creating with all of these new products. And give this video a thumbs up and share it with your card-making friends. Have a great day. Bye.